Van Julienfang, the centre ref. Hopefully she won't be too busy. They're mic'd up so they can speak to the video review people. Who are also mic'd up, which is great, so we can hear what the gam joms or the protestations are for. Well, Daniela Sousa against Bruna Devancic. Well, here comes Dani. Dani, can she be the champion? She's Pan Am champ. I think we need to sort this out and help them a little bit and show them which way to go. Twenty nineteen champ in Lima, and David Davis, the coach in the corner. Last little chat, last little laugh. Great to see. Got to enjoy these big moments. Bruno Dovancic, junior European champion, won the Belgian Open this year. Big step up, of course, which she did as well in the European Championships in Manchester. Team Croatia in the house, likewise the crowd. But as you know yourself, you've got the best seats going. And I hope you're enjoying it. The new rules, a lot of consternation, a lot of criticism, a lot of conversation. But so far, so good on day three. So let's see what we've got to see. South of the Mexican. The first time up in this arena for her. The battler from Baja, California. Made it to the world's quarterfinals in 2019, so definitely a contender. That's why she's here, of course. So certainly the taller of the two is the Croat. Devancic loves a head kick. Sousa loves a back kick. Clash of styles. And here they go straight away. Sousa trying to souse out the opportunity. Devancic doing well, holding that centre of the ring, being dominant, plenty of presence. Nice. Pops in a little push kick, deserving of that holding of the centre. The bravery pays off. Sousa almost taking a little kick to the body there on the way through. Textbook timing again. Good work from the Mexican, though. I mentioned that footwork. Going to have to turn it up a little bit here. Good kick in the inside. Punch lands. Not so much that it scores, but showing the confidence, and it does this time. Reminder to the refs. through this first round. They'll know that Adriana Sareto Iglesias is in the final. It was almost one into the face there from Sosa. Good response. Devancic with the accuracy. Four up, 40 to play. Julian Fang calls them forward. And Julia Obliging walks into a head kick. Well, if Devancic keeps this up, she's certainly going to take this opening round. Better from Sosa. Circling, trying not to take the gam joms. Looking for that close distance head kick, not far away from the Mexican. Confidence rising along with the kick. But it will be too little, too late. You would venture 10 to go. And Jovancic, just as she started the round, stock steady in the centre. Ruling the roost here in Rome. And deserving of that first round. Well, the Mexican Sousa wants to play the video review card for a shot to the head. So if there's any contact to the head, that could change things. And of course, thankfully, the fighters can sit down and have a look. We can also have a look. So the Mexican throws up a kind of reverse turning kick here. 
This one was the punch. Clean headshot there. That's not the point of contention. But just here on the big screen, they're having a little look at it as the coaches run through it. Yeah, you probably heard that they're looking for the head point kick. It's needed. If it was a spinning kick, the current score is 8 3. Spin to the head would tie it up. If there's any contact at all, so you can maybe you can see it. Have a little look up at the big screen there. The jumbotron in the middle. As Danny Sousa gives it a stern glance. She felt something. Unsuccessful. The card gone, the round gone. Is the chance gone? The Mexican fans trying to encourage her. <laughs> Good on them, Croatia responding. Bruna Devancic on the front foot, not far away there. Again, the dexterity of that front foot. There has been discussions instead of just two stabbing motions forward. But there could be a move to three. Not confirmed, but under discussion. No discussion needed for that one, though. Big back leg boot, plus the count. Julian Fan making sure that Devancic is OK. And Sousa smacks one into the jaw there. Straight out of the blocks, right into the chops. And into a 3-0 lead. Confidence, so important. Sousa throwing caution to the wind. Taking the wind out of the sails of the Croat as well. An absolute belter. Just signs again getting into the centre, trying to dominate. But good on Durancic responding, but wary now. Back leg turning kick, the Croat trying to respond halfway through, does this time. Head kick well blocked there by Sousa. Excellent kick on the inside from the Mexican. She's got her game plan working much better now. 45 plus the punch. Devancic had the lead, she's got the headshot back again. So if it goes to a tie, there are various criteria. Spins, high value techniques, hits to the protector. Can they take it into their own hands and feet? Almost there, the power bar rising. Likewise, the intensity, 20 to go. Will the punch do it? She thought she'd got it there, so that steps back. Doesn't want to take the gamble, takes one to the body instead. Clock ticking, Javancic. Has the advantage, he's got one in the lead, there's the back kick that I mentioned. Couldn't get it on the board, a few lights. But are the lights going out on the Mexican? Tries with the head kick, close stance, goes with the spin to the body, hits the deck, try to hit the heights here. We still have 0.8 of a second left, 7-6. Tries with the spin, but it is the Croat with the win. Bruna Devancic, oh, had to work for that one. Great performance, what a match, absolutely loved it. Shim J. Young will take bronze, as will Daniela Sousa. But going into the final, Bruna Devanovic, what a performance, had to work for it. That's just old school perfection, love it. Back leg turn and kick to the head. Well, I hope you're enjoying it, I am. Was a little bit hesitant as to what the rules would look like, how the gameplay would change, as we always are. But the wrinkles are smoothing out. Rome wasn't built in a day. Don't know if the PS is where are either, but we'll 